This year I started taking Tai Chi and Qigong classes. I'm learning the Sun Tai Chi form as a way to continue the momentum with my standing meditation practice. I recently wrote a blog post about standing meditation, so if you're interested in that, you can look at that post. Um, I decided to learn the Sun Tai Chi form because my standing meditation teacher is a Sun Tai Chi teacher as well, and one of his students does classes every week on Sun Tai Chi, so I've been attending those and really enjoying it. And from what I've learned, it's traditional or normal to learn both Tai Chi and Qigong at the same time, that they're mutually supportive, that you learn principles of motion in Qigong classes and bring those principles into the Tai Chi form. So I've been really enjoying this combo. I like learning the form each week and learning new motions to bring into it. It's going to take me about six to nine months to learn the form. And meanwhile, the Qigong classes are just really, really enjoyable for the body. And I'm finding that my body feels really good, both my physical body and my energy body from doing the Qigong practices. Uh, the way that my Qigong teacher talks about Qigong, it's less about a specific form or specific procedure that you move your body through and more about certain principles of motion that are, you know, having your body be relaxed, having there be energy in the body and having a high degree of body awareness. And the way that he talks about it, any form of motion that has those principles that brings mindfulness into motion with relaxation and energy and body awareness is Qigong. And that's, you know, a fairly liberal perspective. There are other perspectives where, uh, you know, there's specific Qigong principles, specific forms that you move through. But for me, as someone who's just getting started in Qigong, I'm really enjoying this perspective. And I wanted to share one thing that I've taken away so far from the Qigong classes, which is something called drumming. This is where you hit your body in ways that feel good. You hit your body and you drum your body. And there's a lot of different ways to do this. You can uh, hit your body like this. You can pat it like this. You can also just rub and massage parts of your body. And it feels really good. Um, you can just do that with any part of your body, maybe a part of your body that is hurting or doesn't feel so good. There's some aches and pains. Or you can also do it with just your whole body and try to make your whole body feel really good. And uh, either way, I've been finding myself doing this quite a bit. You know, if I'm in pain, if there are aches, or I just have a few free minutes, I'm just walking around, it's really natural to just start doing the drumming, maybe on my arms or my shoulders like this, um, or my legs and knees uh, or the back. And it just feels very good. And if you keep doing it for a few minutes, it starts to feel increasingly good. Even just doing it a little bit feels good, but the more you do it, the more your body feels good. Not just the physical body, but also the energy body. And I've been finding that from that perspective, it really fits in nicely with the meditation practice that I've already done because it helps my energy body feel quite good. But interestingly, it also fits in really well with metta or loving kindness practice because it's basically a form of self-love to massage your body and then your body starts to feel good both physically and emotionally and then additionally uh you know from that perspective when your body feels good it's easy to love yourself and it's easy to love others and so i've been finding it actually surprisingly fits in really nice with all the meta practice that i do so i've been really enjoying this drumming um there's a lot of different ways to do it you just start drumming your body in places that feel like they could use some love. And there are probably some other videos on YouTube that might give you a sense of what exactly it is. And I recommend looking around, but um, there's just a lot of different ways to do it. You can notice what feels like it's hurting or feels like it could use some attention and care and just start putting your hands on those parts of your body in different ways and noticing what feels good. And I've been really enjoying it and wanted to share it with you in case you enjoy it too.